My name is Cassandra Lloyd, and this is the product demonstration for Landsweeper app for Jira Service Management. This integration application delivers both service ticket enrichment and the ability to link multiple issues to an asset. Let's start with service ticket enrichment. The integration will display the Landsweeper IT asset based on various search criterion fields. It will fetch that asset information from Landsweeper and display that asset information in the Jira service ticket. This integration application also offers a live search functionality and a feature for users to fetch assets as part of any JIRA service ticket. The users will be able to see details related to each asset and also redirect to Landsweeper for viewing all the details related to that asset. As mentioned, the second integration of this, the second feature, I'm sorry, of this integration application is issue linking. A user is able to link issues with the same selected assets to an existing issue. This allows the users to link all the issues which are not in a closed state to the current issue based on the selected assets for the existing issue. This allows users to have better tracking of the related issues based on the assets. Now let's go through a demo for this app. This is my Jira Cloud instance where I see the Landsweeper app in the Manage Apps option under Apps drop-down. When I click on this app, I see a configuration page. Here I need to enter the Landsweeper API URL along with the identity code and select the projects where this app should work. I have selected a project that is IT Infra. In my instance, when I do the validation and save option, it authenticates the details with Landsweeper and displays the message authentication was successful and the details have been saved successfully. Now, when I go into any of the issues in the project, I see a Landsweeper button with the option to view associated assets. And as you can see, this is a different project called Admin Infra, which I did not set the configuration page for. When I click on the View Associated option, it shows me a message that the project is not configured. When I open the issue for the project, which has been selected on the configuration page in the Landsweeper component, I click on the View Associated Assets, and I can see all the details of the assets relating to Landsweeper. There are three tabs under the Assets option. They are Selected, Matched, and Search. The managed assets are automatically fetched assets based on the reporter ID of the issue or IP or MAC address information stored in the description or summary of this JIRA issue. When I select any of the assets, I see all the selected assets in the selected tab under the assets option. And in the third tab, it's related to all the search results. I have the option to do a live search in Landsweeper. There are four fields, IP, MAC, asset name and username supported. I can select any one of those and I can provide comma separated values for those values. And when I click on the search, it will fetch all the information from Landsweeper and display all the data in the search results option. By clicking down, I see the details of the asset which have been fetched. I also have the redirect URL, which would redirect me to Landsweeper. When I click on continue, I get redirected to Landsweeper where I can see the information related to the asset. Here is an issue reported by a user where the user has reported that a VM is not working properly and mentioned the IP address of that VM. In the Landsweeper integration app, I see the match option. I can see the assets related to this IP address. For example, here you can see the IP address is the same which has been entered in the description field for this data issue. Similarly, this is another issue reported by a user where entered the details regarding the MAC address for that machine. In this case, the asset details are fetched based on the MAC address field. And here you can see the asset has been fetched with the same MAC address. Similarly, if you want an IP address or MAC address is mentioned in the summary of the JIRA issue, it would work in a similar way and fetch the assets based on that field value. And here I have two MAC addresses mentioned in a case, and I can see that all the relevant assets have been fetched. These are the two assets related to these two different MAC addresses. Now we can go to the search functionality. 
I select the IP as the filter by the field and search, and I provide one of the IP addresses and the second one separated by a comma. When I do a search for this, it will perform a search in Landsweeper and display all assets related to these two IP addresses. So here you can see that with the IP address ending in 118 and the IP address ending in 117, all the assets have been fetched. I select these assets and they are displayed in my selected tab. Now let's take a closer look at issue linking. This is one of the issues where the state of the issue is enclosed and in my associated assets, I have selected three assets, but not all in a closed state. Here in the selected assets, I can see that there are three selected assets. Now when I go to my issue, I have an option to link the related issues when I click this option. This process has been initiated and all the relevant issues have now been linked successfully. The issue which was already closed having the same assets selected. We have developed this integration app for both Landsweeper customers and Jira customers, allowing Jira users to make complete use and value of their Landsweeper IT asset data within the day-to-day -day of their IT service management ensuring that Landsweeper IT asset data is available as part of their incident, service request, problem, and change management processes. Thank you.